Hi there. When you work on Linux or any Unix for that matter, sometimes you might want to find out uh, what files have been modified in the last couple of days or couple of minutes. And this could be quite crucial from the purposes of backups or finding out what changed in your file system, right? How do you find that out? Using find command. Find has lots of options to search for files based on various criteria. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use find to select files or choose files based on the change timestamp or the modification timestamp, sorry. So if at all I've done find command, let's say I want to find out what files have been modified in the last one day in the current directory. So I can just say find dot indicate current directory and I can actually say minus m time minus one. Minus one indicates within the last one day, right? And I can just, just say minus print this minus print is not really required if you're running on Linux and it just shows all these files and folders that have been modified in the last one day. Maybe you want to look up all files that have been modified in the last one week. You can actually use the seven, maybe seven days. It shows all the files that have been modified in the last one week, maybe seven days. Or maybe you want to look it up in um, slash etc directory for which I require to run sudo because I might get permission denied errors. Uh, so if I say sudo find uh, slash etc minus m time, I want to find out what files have been modified in the last 24 hours. There's one day. You can actually say minus m time minus one. And this time I'm going to use printf. Uh, when you use print, it's just going to print the file path, but I want to get more details. So I can just say printf and I can just say percentage t to indicate the modification timestamp of the file followed by the path to the file. I'm going to also end with a slash n that's required otherwise. So I'm going to add slash in automatically. So these are the files, which have been files and folders that have been modified in the last one day and chose the timestamp indicating their last modification timestamp. It's all in the day to day, which you can see. Today's date, this is what it is here. Maybe if you want to look up what, what files have been modified in the last two days, you can actually use minus M2, minus M time minus two. Well, since yesterday, I guess many files have been modified in slash etc. I installed certain packages and so on. So yes, some extra folders got created because I created installed a package called PHP. I updated that. So you can see this mechanism. Uh, if you only, if you only want to look at the granularity of minutes, I want to know what files have been modified in the last 30 minutes, let's say, like in the current directory or in the current directory onwards, I could actually use, I'll do one thing. I'll just go one folder up. I've delivered a couple of training programs today. so. From the training folder, I want to find out what files have been modified in the last 30 minutes. I can actually say find dot minus m min instead. And say minus 30 to indicate in the last 30 minutes. And I could say minus print. I'll say printf and I'll also put percentage t. And I'll also use percentage p slash n as usual. I'm just going to show you all the files that have been modified in the last 30 minutes. It shows both files and folders. If you, want to, if, you want to, if you want to filter only based on a file type, based on regular files, let's say, you can also use minus type F. So folders are not listed, only files are shown. Looks like in the last 30 minutes, the only file that got really modified is this file called t.iso. I can try the same thing in any other location, maybe for going outside my home directory, I don't need to use sudo. So I'll try looking up maybe slash var slash lib and find out. Yeah, I can see a whole lot of files that have been modified in the last 30 minutes. So this is a useful feature that can be used to filter out files based on criteria in a file system. So to summarize, use find, and you can use the path where you want to search searching for. You can actually use what type of files you want to filter out. Maybe I'm trying to indicate regular files by using minus type F. You can use minus M min to get in minutes granularity or minus M time to get it in days granularity. And uh, if at all you provide minus M min, you can use minus 30 to indicate in the last 30 minutes, or if you use minus M time, you can say minus 10 to indicate in the last 10 days. And after which you can customize output to be printed by using minus printf followed by the printf format specification, modification timestamp followed by the file. If you want to learn more about find command, I guess you know how to find that out. You could uh, look it up by using man find as usual. The man page is quite detailed covering every single options. So there are a lot of ways you can extract or select files based on various criteria in here. So I will cover some more interesting nuggets like this using find command in the future videos. 
Hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in the future videos. Thank you.